Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Oscar Caden. I'm Gaynor. And as you can see, Gaynor looks like a completely different woman yeah, today. Yeah, back to my natural colour. Yeah, changed the hair. Yeah. Today we have a 10 most shocking WWE man versus woman moments. I didn't even know this was a thing, to be honest. I didn't. I knew that the women wrestled. I, I knew that, that, but I didn't, know they, they I didn't know they fought each other. Yeah. So I'm quite in, uh, excited to see this one. 10 yeah, most so shocking WWE man versus woman moments. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notifications. And once you're done, leave a comment down below and I just might end up responding. Barring Lucha Underground, you really don't see man-on-woman action in the WWE that isn't overly sexualized, and hey, now that Lucha Underground's pretty much definitely done for, you really, really aren't gonna see that shit anymore. While WWE's women divisions have been vastly different to each other over the years, the general consensus seemed to be the same. It's not exactly a bueno idea to mix the men and the women. Although, for probably obvious reasons, the Attitude Era loosened those reins on that <laughs> just just a little bit. Yeah, uh, come to think of it, expect mostly Attitude Era. I'm D. Wicket, and these are 10 of the most shocking <laughs> man versus women moments in WWE history. Number 10, an angle slammed at China. Expect mostly Attitude... Uh, sorry. Also, if we didn't stretch out this... I think China was born a man. I don't know, I'm not even sure who she I is. Don't know, she, she's the one there on, with, the, uh, with the black things on. I remember when she first came out and I thought, is it a woman or is it a man? Or did she just look masculine? She or? looks very masculine. Like as in like Bill or like well, facial you, you, wise? You tell me. Research I mean, as much as possible. This could have easily been a mostly China list to be honest. Considering she's pretty much the only female in WWE history to have the trait of openly just beating up any and all <laughs> men in her path. Aside from Nia Jax for like three weeks. Yeah, she's pretty easy to shoo into any of these lists. Instead of a whole bunch of China, however, how about a variety hour that- Is that like what you're just thinking or is that like you remember hearing that? No, that's what I'm thinking. Ah, uh, she's, she's I'm not sure, filled. I can't really tell to be honest. Features her getting angle slammed by the Olympic hero. Because you know what? Think I could do for one of those. <laughs> Number nine, Rousey puts H through a table. Here's an example that just feels very WWE. I don't know how to explain it, but there's almost a few different categories these moments are gonna fall into. Like one of them, yeah. yeah. You always see like these UFC people going into the WWE, yeah. don't you? Or yeah. well, like actual fighters. Going see, she in. looks feminine when you look at it. You, you think she's a woman, whereas China, she's got a very masculine jaw. Mm. This is the classic, hey guys, women really can do it all, PR-esque feeling moment, and round to putting the big bad game through the table prior to their WrestleMania intergender tag team encounter, definitely is going to edge its way onto that list. Now, she's Ronda pissing Rousey. Obviously, we can believe that she would be able to do this because, I mean, watch the clip. It doesn't even look like Triple H had to help her do the move, but you get the idea. Number eight, <laughs> Becky Lynch versus John Cena. Here's another good WWE-esque moment. Again, I'm not exactly sure how to explain the phenomenon, but putting the man over the literal man of the company for the last 15 years or so and letting her, you can't see me to the champ, <laughs> it just screams WWE. It's not necessarily a bad thing either. I like this moment a good bit more than the Rousey one I just talked about. Maybe, maybe though, that's just because I, <laughs> I give a shit about Becky Lynch and seen as a far more interesting opponent than H. Uh, maybe that's just me. This happened on January 1st, 2019. Literally starting out the year by pitting the two most popular acts of each gender and very clearly showing us which one was going over. It's actually pretty well done. Number seven, Kane Tombstones. Linda, man versus woman moments in themselves are just naturally kind of shocking. A lot of people think men fighting women isn't fair. I remember like, actually being like low-key scared of Kane. Yeah, he's a monster <laughs> though, isn't he? He looks like he's come, up, come from, back from the dead. Yeah, I didn't like him. Reality, there's all sorts of domestic violence going both ways in the world, and in general, people tend to prefer the sexes just fight each other. Again, unless you're Lucha Underground and you don't give an Angelico's flying fuck. Despite this, yeah. WWE... That day when I actually saw his face for the first time as well. 
<laughs> it's not what you expect them to look like. Yeah. <laughs> Still love trying to do everything they can to make a moment as shocking as possible when that's their goal. Enter the big red machine with a big bloody red mask and the company owner's wife. I, I wonder if they'll discuss politics over tea. W wait, the, both of these two ended up being legitimate politicians. And it all started here. Now, isn't that poetic? <laughs> Number six, DDP attacks Sarah, Sarah Taker, Sarah Taker, sure. While a man and a woman fighting will usually spark at least a little bit of controversy, think of all the possibilities when you open it up each time. Think about it. Seriously, think about it. Two entirely different and diverse rosters of pro wrestlers who could have any and all sorts She's of tiny chemistry well. and do creative storylines and do literally anything you can think of. Men and women, anything. Pro wrestling, is it's just storytelling with a choreographed mask, and yet sometimes the choreography is shit. <laughs> DDP versus The Undertaker is a good example of woman being introduced into a man storyline. It's just a zero success and almost no redeeming qualities. I mean, DDP's diamond cutter looked fine, but did he after this angle? <laughs> Number five, China's borderline sexual assault. DDP and Whoa. Sarah Taker's moment was bad, Jeez. not because of them, but because of the creative <laughs> surrounding it. China basically being sexually assaulted by two old dudes in the ring is a bit harder of a pill to swallow. I mean, I'm sure she was fine with it, and considering the match was against Pat Patterson and Joe Briscoe, I guess only one of them was getting anything from that. And, but I digress, and I'm not exactly big on uh, watching old dudes pat Shine on the ass before grabbing at her tits. For context, though, of the Attitude Era, this took place on the same Raw where Vince and Rock called Kane a little retarded, and Mark Henry threw up after realizing he had a sexual encounter with a transsexual, so... I mean, at least it fits the theme. Number four, Trish beats up Vince. Yeah. Trish is on. I was a bit weird. You won't get away with that now. No. On top, and she's giving it to Vince. That is a real call from Jim Ross, the greatest commentator we've ever had. For real, though, this is a pretty great little feel-good moment. Trish Stratus, similar to China, honestly could have filled out this entire list on her own, too. From being beaten by chairs with Alita because of Vince to being forced to strip down by Mr. McMahon himself, while Trish has done a lot with the boys and clearly has a lot of frustrations to let loose, particularly ones about Vinnie Mac. Good thing she teamed up with The Rock to take on Vince and Kurt Angle. That's not how intergender matches work, but the Attitude Era doesn't give a shit, and holy hell did she beat the shit out of that old bastard. Oh. Number three, a one-armed Cena. So, <laughs> sometimes we'll get to these classic little WWE tropes, especially from the diva era, mind you, that shows off just how pathetic a woman must really be in a crisis. Obviously that's not true, but Jesus, if you watched WWE in the latter 2000s, and especially the first half of the 2010s, if you were a kid, you'd probably think that girls just blew away in the goddamn wind. Umaga just utterly destroying Maria was a pretty solid example, but I think taking one of John Cena's arms tying it behind his back, and still having him dominate Lita, one of the greatest women's wrestlers of an entire generation, in about 22 seconds, that's, that's pretty fucking rough, dude. I mean, hey, at least she got her comeuppance when Edge, Booker T, Finley, William Regal, and noticeably not Lita all murdered the dude after the match. Uh, cool. I can't, oh my god. Oh man. This is absolutely humiliating for John Cena. Number two, Bubba Ray Dudley. I mean, really, he in and of himself is kind of a shocking man versus woman moment, since at least one eighth of his character is just destroying every woman he sets his eyes on. He goes into a trance by murdering women. Dixie Carter got some in a slightly more satisfying TNA moment, but the craziest always lasts, especially when WWE really just wants some straight up insanity. For our car crash television entry, we've got Devon taking Mark Henry on in a match while Bubba goes to the back, finds Mae Young since, you know, 
the whole Mark Henry hand thing happened. He brings her out to the ring. They finish off Henry with the 3D. They take Mae Young up the ramp, set her down. Uh, Devon picks her up, and I swear to God, Bubba Ray started his bully character in 2000 because he grabs her out of Devon's hands, spins around, and power bombs her straight off the stage, straight into a table. What the hell am I watching? <laughs> and number one. <laughs> what? How old was she? She's old. Isn't she, she looks it. Yeah. Christopher Jericho and Christian versus Trish Stratus and Weta. Why am I snapping? I've gone over all sorts of shocking moments here. Horrifying ones, insane ones, end of romance ones, and even dominance over women ones. Who could forget? With all sorts of other moments I didn't retread, such as, you know, Stephanie versus Brock, or Stephanie versus her own father uh, in an I Quit match, the question really has to be asked. Has there ever been a good man versus woman match, let alone moment? Well, yes. Uh, obviously, there's been good moments, but match, there's been Chris Jericho versus China on multiple occasions, but everyone already knows about that one, and aside from that, it's kind of hard to think of one without stretching over to Lucha Underground, but nah, my number one is this entry's titular match, Jericho and Christian against Stratus and Weta, and yes, it is making this list 100% for just being a good man versus woman match. I am so shocked <laughs> that this actually happened in a tag team match too, WWE's historically not very big on the tag team wrestling so seeing this is by far the most shocking man versus woman moment it ever it has to be it was solid action and an even better storyline involving jericho and bischoff this one is actually worth the youtube search and i'm gonna go ahead and recommend it to you And those are 10 shocking man versus woman moments. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments down below after liking the video, subscribing to the channel. Yeah, I just didn't even know that was a thing, no. to be honest. When well, I came across it with men v women, I was like, this should be interesting. Yeah, and it was interesting, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> I'm not sure uh, whether that'll get blocked. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong, yeah. That, that one when he, the old woman on the... Uh, when, he, when, he, when he picked her up, I was like, there's no way he's going to throw it. She proper <laughs> looked old, slander. yeah. She didn't look like she could take that very well. <laughs> She must be fit for yeah. her age. Anyway, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for us, please. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Cheers.